Hi, how are you? I'm Anita Goa, and in this video, I'm going to answer eight frequently asked questions on why it's important to practice yoga at home. The reason you should develop a practice at home is so that you can become much more aware of your body, of your mind, and of your spirit. Basically, a home practice is going to make you much more aware of what you need and um, what it is that you need to pay attention to when you're practicing. So uh, by default, you will end up trusting yourself much more because you're much more intuitive. And this is going to help you tremendously when you go to classes. So when teachers suggest that you do this or that, you will know if that's going to be good for you or if you need to give yourself a modification. So overall, developing a home practice is going to help you to trust yourself on the mat as well as off the mat. For sure, I think you can progress with the home practice. Uh, you do have to stay on top of your home practice, of course, just like anything else. You need to ask questions, you need to pay attention, and uh, you know, make sure that you don't fall into the trap of getting lazy and just staying and doing the same thing over time. So it's just like anything else in life. Um, if you pay attention, you will naturally ask much more questions, you know, when needed and allow yourself to explore maybe new poses or different variations so that uh, you can progress. The way that you'll know that you're doing the yoga poses right is by feeling your body. If your body feels good and free and you feel like you're progressing in your practice, then you're doing something right. If it doesn't feel good, then you know that you're doing something wrong. Either there's a pose or a few poses that you need to adjust and refine in your alignment, or maybe there could be something with the sequencing either of the class that you're taking or the class that you are going through in your home practice. This actually happened to me recently. I was taking a very popular New York City teacher's class and afterwards my back was just killing me. I barely could walk for two days after and uh, I was starting to wonder what is going on here and I went back to the class um, three weeks in a row and the same thing kept happening and I tried to engage my core more, I tried to pay attention more to what it was I was doing in the class and then I realized that it was this particular teacher sequencing that did not agree with my body. It had nothing to do with the teacher, she's an amazing teacher and I really loved her class but some Thing about the sequencing did not agree with my body and I just had to stop so that's just sometimes what it is you have to investigate and you have to pay attention sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes what doesn't work now might work later on in your practice so anytime you go to a class ask the teacher questions don't be afraid um, if there's a pose that you're not quite sure about, demonstrate the pose and ask the teacher to give you pointers. And also, whenever you like a teacher, schedule maybe a private every now and then. And um, it will be good to have uh, another set of eyes to pay attention and give you those uh, little adjustments. Yeah, this is a very common uh, answer or question. Uh, yes, it's very true. Oftentimes we avoid the things that we don't like to do and it's a process. It really is a process. Oftentimes what it is that we're avoiding is what we need the most, but that takes time to come to that realization. I avoided backbends for a really long time until my body was almost crippled from only doing forward bends. I realized I have to get into backbends and that's when I started to get into back bends, started to learn to love the back bends and incorporated them because I really realized that 
I needed to do them. They were essential for my body. So it's a process. Be compassionate towards yourself and just be aware and notice, all right, I avoided this now. And oftentimes if we avoid something on the mat, we'll probably be avoiding something off of the mat as well. So just be honest with yourself and uh, have compassion and realize that it's a practice. If you stay with it, eventually you'll get to it. Yes, distractions are everywhere for sure. And if we practice at home, they're going to be there too. So just pay attention to the distractions. Ask yourself why you're allowing yourself to get distracted. And this is really the essence of yoga is to try to withdraw the senses from the external world to the internal world because there's always going to be distractions. So you practice by just getting on the mat, inhaling and exhaling, that's going to put you in the present moment and then starting to connect the breath with the movements that you'll be doing. So as Woody Allen says, 80% of the work is done by showing up. So just roll out your mat and show up to your mat and then start off with one sun salutation and if you lose your concentration and your discipline after that, then next time try to do two and then the following time try to do three. It's a practice, that's why it's called a practice. You're not going to be perfect in the beginning, but the key is just to show up. Well, this is pretty much the same answer as the previous question. You develop discipline by practicing. So you have to roll out the mat and you have to get your asana onto the mat. That's it. There's nothing simpler than that or harder than that or complicated than that, whatever it might be. But you have to create the time to practice. It could be five minutes, it could be 10 minutes, it could be 15 minutes, it could be an hour, an hour and a half, however much time you have. That's the amount of time that you use. So as you do it, you will develop the discipline to practice at home or practice anything that you want to practice in your life. Show up. Like Nike says, just do it. I will say, just show up. <laughs> Uh, I doubt you're going to injure yourself at home. Of course, again, you have to pay attention to what it is you're doing and, uh, you know, take notes and, uh, you know, just pay attention to what you're doing and uh, don't allow something just to linger on when you feel a pain here or discomfort there. Just make notes of it and uh, see how you can adjust yourself the next time. I think the chance of getting injured is actually higher in a class where we have other people maybe that we compare ourselves to and we do everything that the teacher asks us to do. So um, you know don't let uh, that stop you from practicing at home. I doubt you're going to injure yourself. This is a big question and it is very hard to answer this question in a three minute or even a five minute video. So what I'm going to do is start a little series of how you can create your own home practice because I've gotten different requests of how do I create a 30 minute practice, a 20 minute practice, a 45 minute practice and so on and so forth. So I'd like to start a series to help guide you in the best way to start your own home practice. But make sure that you send me any questions that you have in the meantime so I have something to work with and know what it is really that you need. And uh, let me know where you're at. Are you a beginner? Are you an intermediate? Are you an advanced? Let me know what you're looking to do and uh, make sure that you just listen to your intuition and then please just share that with me. You can post any comments below here and then I'm going to get going on that series and it can be as many parts as really we want it to be because it's a huge subject and I think it's better to make little videos that will um, answer a few questions and help you along the way than to make a bigger video and even then it's, it's very hard to cover everything that I would like to cover as a teacher knowing that it's a, a pretty complex um, uh, question and there really is an art to sequencing. 
so um, you don't need to become a teacher in order to practice at home but at the same time you do need a certain amount of knowledge in order to be able to do it effectively and of course safely all right so share your questions with me and I hope that these answers were helpful to these questions and i love to hear from you until next time make sure that you follow your own flow bye